I want to keep our fish nice and lively so we don't get no penalties and we get to turn them back and let somebody else catch them another day. Live wells. They often get neglected. They get nasty, they get bacteria, they collect moisture and mold. You need to take care of them. You need to clean them out. So in this video, little video, I'm going to show you how I take care of mine. It's not that hard. Don't take that long. So come on, let me show you. Alright guys, so let me show you how I clean my live wells. So I'm in the process of uh, cleaning my boat carpet, but while I'm doing that, I'm going to let my live wells kind of self-clean as you will while I'm doing it. So just take my hose, spray in here and get all the loose scales and everything to run out, at least as much as you can. You can see this thing's nasty. Try to get as much of that stirred up as I can, spray your screens out. This is the uh, lazy man's way of doing this, by the way. I mean, you can get really crazy with cleaning this stuff out, but we're just gonna do it kind of down and dirty. All right, so I got a lot of them scales out. I won't have to spray in here anyway again when I get uh, soap and stuff in here. I'm gonna put my, sorry about the GoPro. I have no idea what you guys are looking at right now, but I'm gonna put my plugs back in here. Plug her back up. And then I'm probably gonna fill this about halfway full so I'm not gonna bore you I'm not gonna bore you with that and I'll come back to you when this thing's about halfway full of water all right so I got both live wells full halfway or just underneath where the recirculator pump comes out I don't know if you guys can see that and I got my cold tags and stuff in there too so they get cleaned up I got my magic eraser and I'm just gonna take some you know this is some Walmart brand Dawn dish soap Use Dawn, I mean, it's good enough for baby ducks, it's got to be good enough for bass, right? So, a little bit in there, not a lot, a little bit in there, not a lot. And then, I'm gonna come over here to my switches, turn my power on. I'm gonna go down here to recirculate manual, manual. That's gonna take that soapy water and run it through the whole system and clean the, out the live wells, too. So I'm going to close the lids, let all that marinate, and just let that run while I'm uh, cleaning the carpet. Can you hardly hear it? Alright, so I've been having these run for a while. See, it looks like a washing machine in there, don't it? Now we're going to turn off, recirculate, and scrub them out. What the heck did I do with that? Alright. So yeah, now we're going to turn them off, recirculate, and scrub them out. Off, off. Power off. And here somewhere is a magic eraser. Oh, there it is. Got all this soap. Which is going to be our friend. It's been in there marinating. I'm going to pull the plug. And let that drain out. While it's doing that, Get in here and scrub around with this magic eraser. Give everything a good wiping down. I say the sides and everything's pretty easy. It's just the bottom where everything settles and the lids of the live well. Look how nasty that is. You want a nice clean live well for your fish, right? Cause we don't want any dead fish. Dead fish are bad. Well, at least in bass tournaments anyway. I want to keep our fish nice and lively. So we don't get no penalties and we get to turn them back and let somebody else catch them another day.
sure you clean your plug too. You get all slimy and nasty. Won't seal that well. Clean your screens. Clean all down here around the bottom. That's what gets the nastiest. And just go through it until you get done with it. Uh, I'm not gonna bore you anymore. We'll come back and I'll show you uh, when I get done cleaning this out. All right, as you guys can see, we got her all cleaned out. There's a little bit of water down there in the very bottom, but I'm gonna take the boat into the garage and I'm gonna get the shop vac to suck that out. We'll do that and wipe her down with a towel and she'll be good to go. They're looking way better than they did. So what's also good about having a nice clean live well is if a fish spits something up, like a crawfish or whatever, then you can kind of match the hat to see what they're eating. Tie that bait on, you might be able to catch some more fish. All right, so let's get this boat in the garage. So there's our live wells, looking all nice and clean. Something I forgot to mention earlier, uh, when you get some clean water, you finally get all that soap out, hit that recirculator one more time. That way you get all the soap out of the system. And then uh, once you get to the lake, you can run a little bit of lake water through there too, just to be safe. You can see though, I got a little bit of water sitting right down there in the very bottom. Phoenix would get that, your boat might get it, it might not. But uh, that's fine, we're gonna take care of that right now with the shop vac. It'll suck that right out. Make sure your plug's out of the way so you don't suck up your plug. Gonna take a shot vac. Down in there, check all that water out. Come over here, do the same thing. That last little bit of stuff down there, don't worry about it. Just want to get most of the water out. Shot back. Of course, shot back fell over after I got done cleaning this boat, and I got to get all this cleaned up. Then I'm just going to take a rag and we're just going to wipe all this stuff up out of here. Most of it's pretty dry anyway. There we go. Live wells are all clean, ready for the next tournament. Uh, you might want to leave them open. That's what I always do every time I come back and get off the water. I leave them open. Let them get so they don't get that bacteria and stuff growing in there. Let them dry out. You don't hold that. It doesn't hold that moisture in there, and that's what causes all that nastiness. And uh, something else you can do, you can take a little bit of hydrogen peroxide. I don't have a bottle with me right now, but you can put a little bit in there when you're done for the day. And you got the boat setting up. You know all that nastiness that settles at the bottom. It'll kill all that and it'll keep it from staining. And then when you uh, get to the lake, run that hydrogen peroxide through there. It'll clean out your system too. And then just pump it out and you're ready to go fishing for the day. So when you're sitting there waiting for blast off, waiting for your boat number to come, just run your stuff. Plus it's good, that way you know you're, everything's working on the boat. And you're not having one of those uh-oh moments and you're having to like take a plastic cup and put water in your live well because the pump's broke or something like that. You kind of find out ahead of time. But guys, I hope that helped you out. I hope it shows you another way to clean your live wells versus just get in there with a the brush and everything. Kind of look that. Let the soap do the work for you, that's what's there. I mean, if it can get grease and stuff off of pots and pans and oil off of little baby ducks, I think it can clean out a live well pretty good. If you haven't already, guys, and you're new to this channel and this is your first time seeing me, click that subscribe button. You know, become part of the Dinsmore Outdoor family. It doesn't cost anything, it's free. You know, if you don't know how YouTube works, the subscription all it does is let you know when I post a new video. And that's what that little bell's about. Click that little bell, ring it, and it'll let you know when a new video that I put up is posted so you don't miss anything. It might not be your cup of tea, but then again, it might be. You might be on, I might be fishing on lake that you're having a tournament on next week, so it could help you out. Or uh, if you want some more boat cleaning tips, because there's going to be more of them. I uh, still have to put some wax on this boat and clean all the graphs and stuff like that and clean the trailer down even more. So be sure that you're subscribed so you can catch that kind of stuff, and I'm going to make it its own playlist. So always guys, thank you all so much for making it to the end of the video. I'm Joe with Densmore Outdoors, and remember, we do more in Densmore. We'll see you out there.